What's going on YouTube? Zabba's the Water here bringing you the final match with my OU beta test team. Um, just a heads up guys, I recently had a pet that passed away, so I'm sorry if this isn't up to my usual standard, but I'm gonna try my best. So, looking at my opponent's team, he's got a Ferrothorn, Terrakion, Salamence, Scizor, Alakazam, and Landorus. Um, Landorus T, I think? No, not T. I? I think I. Yeah, I. Uh, Ferrothorn, Standards, uh, Hazards, Terrakion, overall Beat Stick, Salamence, you know, DD or Scarf, from what I've gathered so far. Scizor, I don't know what set that is, it's just safe to assume that it's Banded and... If it does something else, then I'm going to be in trouble. Alakazam, another beat stick, but on the special side. And Landorus, I really don't know. I mean, I've seen Sheer Force Life Orb. That's what I've seen. I mean, in the simulators, it's kicked my butt a couple times. But that's as far as I've seen it. I haven't actually battled it Wi-Fi yet. But enough with that. Let's get to the battle. My opponent today is Poketrav13, who we set up this battle through YouTube. He's going to start out with his Iron Potato, his Ferrothorn, and I'm going to send out my Plasma, my Rotom Wash. Now, first off, I'm going to go for the trick because, you know, I'm thinking standard weather setup, or, or not weather setup, or hazards. And I see I get a normal gem, so I'm thinking, uh-oh. Here comes the Power Whip. It gets critical hit. Did not matter. Knock me out. Bam! He is gone. So I am off to a fantastic start. I hope you can all sense the sarcasm in that. So I'm going to go into my no stall for you, knowing that it's choice locked into it, which means I can go for the HP fire as he goes into his uh, Dennis, yep, Dennis, his elements, and goes for the Outrage. I hang out with Focus Sash, going to try and knock it out with Psy Shock, but it's not quite going to be enough. I underestimated its bulk. So I'm going to go into my Mountain Dew Code Red to take the Outrage, which is going to do a fair amount, but you know, Scizor doesn't really have the best defenses. Its best defense is its resistance, really. So I'm going to go for the bullet punch, knock it out, and that's the end of that. He's going to send out his the man, his Alakazam, and in hindsight, I really should have gone for bullet punch right now and just got it over with. Because he's going to go for the hidden power fires. I switch out in my Chansey. I was kind of predicting the focus um, blast or something. I knew it could take me out, but it's good to know it's got hidden power fire. So he goes into his iron potato and goes and uh, just pulls a double switch into his power, his Trachyon. And here, uh, I really should have predicted the switch, but instead I just go for the Giga Drain, and I was thinking, you know, I saw a normal gem, this guy's probably going to go for Explosion, but I can't really stop it because my Hidden Power Fire, I did the calcs, and it's not going to be able to KO it. And I, I just go for the Sunny Day, hoping that he doesn't go for it yet, and maybe I can go for uh, it afterwards, but it doesn't work out that way. He goes for Explosion, takes me good chunk of health out. He sends out Scizor, which I know Bullet Punch is coming, so I go into my Blastoise, take the resisted hit, and I'm going to set up my Rain because, really, Scald isn't going to do anything to this guy, and I'm going to need my recovery, my range recovery here. So, I see his Life Orb, I can probably use that to my advantage, I go for the Rain Dance, which means I can get Rain Dish and Leftovers Recovery, which is great. So, he's going to go for the Bug Bite next turn. It does so much damage. I mean, really, he, without the recovery, he'd be too at KOing me. I go for the Scald. It does quite a bit of damage on, in the rain, but not enough to KO. And here, I'm going to do a little mind trick. I'm going to go into my Mountain Dew Code Red, expecting the Bullet Punch. Uh, well, yeah, Bullet Punch, but he goes for Bug Bite. Either way, Quad Resisted didn't matter. Now I'm going to pull back and go back in my Blastoise, predicting the Bullet Punch this time, because I know that I was in the red and he'd want to take me out. So, I kill him with his own life orb, and that is the end of Scizor. Thank you very much. You know, I'm starting to learn that Scizor completely dominates OU. So, he's going to go into his power, his Trachyon. Go for the X-Scizor. I'm going to leave my Blastoise in his fodder. And I'm going to go into my Mountain Dew Code Red again, just to get the bullet punch off. He's going to say, he's going to sack his uh, Trachyon for, from the bullet punch. And that means that... He's going to send out his Zaman, definitely going to try and knock me out. I'm going to pull back, go into my Chansey, and this part gets a bit stally. So, had to speed up this part quite a bit, because most of it is just me trying to find an opportunity to wish pass. Because this Alakazam, even with Focus Blast, can't do anything to me. And, you know, I go for Toxic just on the off chance it wasn't Magic Guard. It is. And he's going to switch out into his Jafar, his uh, Landorus, and I, kinda, I like the Aladdin reference. And, you know, Life Orb, Sheer Force, Focus Blast, doing its job. Takes, uh, maybe three-hit KO. 
Uh, so I get the wish off, and I'm going to keep going for the wish, just trying to th see when I can go for the wish pass. He gets a crit, takes me almost down to the red, which means I'm going to have to stall even more now, because, you know, I, I don't like stall, but that's all this chancy set can do for now. That has changed in my newer team, but in this team, it all it could do was toxic stall. So I keep going for the wish as he keeps getting whittled down and down by toxic. I go for the protects, get my wish pass off, or get my wish back, and I could have gone for, uh, switched into something predicting Zaman, but I didn't want to risk it because I want to get the wish pass off. I go for the wish pass, wish pass into my Venus Orb. It fails. He goes for Psychic. Go into my Mountain Dew Code Red, go for the Bullet Punch, and Stash. Yep, I knew that was coming. And all I have left is Chansey and Alakazam, which neither can take a hit. I go for the Heal Bell to signify I give up, and, well, I give up. So for those of you who are curious why I gave up, I can't really... I could have stalled him out with Chansey, but that's not fun at all, and it would have taken so incredibly long. And, quite frankly, I can't do that to my anyone. I wouldn't do that to my worst enemy. So, I just go ahead, go for the Heal Bell. I went for the Heal Bell just to show him that that's the last move I had left. No Seismic Toss, and that was it. So, thanks for that battle, PokéTrav13, and let's get to the talk of the day. Today's talk of the day, we're going to be doing some more Hangman. Alright, so, last time, uh, our first guest was an E. So, let's see if there's any E's. Yep, there's at least one E. Alright, so, waiting for the next one. Sorry, Haraboss, but you can only guess one time while we're playing this. So, now it's other people's turn. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed that battle, and I'll see you next time. Like that video? Why don't you hit the like button, or maybe subscribe to my channel. Or better yet, check out the artists who make this all possible.